Welcome back my friends. Today we're going to be spending some time out on the range playing around with some 38 special here and we're just going to be doing some velocity testing seeing the differences between a 1 and 7 8 inch barrel, a 4 inch barrel, and a 20 inch barrel. So the ammunition we're using we have our cast Lee 358 125 round flat. We have six and a half grains of accurate number five. We're going to be using a Ruger LCR, a Ruger GP100, and a Marlin 1894. If you remember back in my Dummy Defeats the Ammo Shortage or one of those stupid videos I was doing, we uh, cranked out a whole bunch of 38 specials. So this is just my bulk loaded ammo that I have, you know, on hand to take to the range for playing around with. But today we're going to be using our Peters Head Stamp Large Pistol Primer Brass for our 38 special testing here. Other than that, they're the exact same as all the other normal 38 special cases. These just have large primers. These were powder coated with uh, an assortment of Ford Light Blue, uh, Ruby Red, and Harbor Freight Black, I believe. And they were sized to 358 with a decent roll crimp on it. Not too heavy though. Okay, so that's our setup. We're just going to be shooting at the berm at like 25 yards or whatever. I'm not even having a target up and I'm just shooting over the chronograph. So let's get at it. We're going to be using the Ruger LCR first with a 1 and 7 8 inch barrel. All right, so there was our Ruger LCR. We had a high 822. Our low was 775. Average of 795. Stream spread of 47 and standard deviation of 18. And power factor of 101. Second up, we have the Ruger GP100 with a four inch barrel. So we're gonna be more than doubling our barrel length. 884 852 875 890 883 All right, so with our Ruger GP100, we had a high of 939. Our low was 852. An average of 877, extreme spread of 87, and standard deviation of 23. And a power factor of 113 there. Our average was 92 feet per second higher than our LCR, which is a 46 foot per second gain per inch of barrel versus the LCR as well. And this was actually 10 shots because I forgot to have the camera running on the first five, so I loaded up five more. And this was actually 10 shots worth of data so I'm curious to see if the spread and all that would open up with the shorter barrel as well, if we had more data to add to that. Anyways, that's our first two. And lastly here, our Marlin 1894, also chambered in 357 Magnum, just like our Ruger GP100 was. Anyways, we're not doubling the barrel length here, we're quintupling it from four inches up to 20 inches. So I expect to see quite a gain here. Let's get to it. 1200 feet per second. Our low was 1166. We had an average of 1188. Our extreme spread was only 34 and back down to 12 feet per second, which was the best spread of the day, giving our um, slower-ish, medium to slow burn rate powder for pistols 
a good enough time to actually burn. So there we go, 12 for the standard deviation power factor 152. We had a 301 foot gain over the GP100 and a 393 feet over our LCR. And this is a 21.8 foot per second gain per inch of barrel between the Marlin and the LCR there with accurate number five. So that's the little note at the bottom. With accurate number five, I'm sure a slower powder would keep pushing it harder, faster, uh, longer. A faster burning powder would run out of steam before the barrel ends and we wouldn't have as much gain, I don't think, as we would with a slower powder. Anyways, that's pretty surprising to me. Almost 400 feet per second gain with 18 extra inches of barrel. But really, what do you expect from, you know, a 1 and 7 eighths inch little snubby? And there we have it, folks. Our 1 and 7 eighths inch barrel averaged 795. We gain 92 feet per second by going up to a 4 inch barrel with the GP100 up to 887 average there. And then again, we jump up to a 20 inch barrel and gain another 301 feet per second, all the way up to an average of 1188 here with 20 inches of barrel. That's pretty incredible to me at least. Now this was just kind of a fun little test, but I have several different pistol powders we could try, try this again with and see if faster powders make this guy have a faster velocity and if slower burning powders give this one a faster velocity, which is pretty much what you would expect because this one has more time to burn all that powder. Whereas you have less time here, you need all that powder to burn up in that short little amount of barrel. So that could be a fun little test. Moving forward, what kind of powders do you suggest? We're probably gonna try some tight group, some Winchester 244. I have some Silhouette, some 700X, several different options here that we are gonna try. But that was just kind of a preliminary velocity test between our different barrel lengths. So anyways, if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. You can also support us over on patreon.com slash dummy round. And we will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.